Hello everybody, this is Etho, and we are just watching this thing for right now. I just got back from caving around this area. I'm trying to make it go quicker, get better rates, and had a good run. Got lots of stuff, but yeah, it's still really, really slow. So, got to do a lot more caving it seems. If we look up our entity, it like it's not even really going above 10 so there's it's not like it's not like they're stuck up there they're just not spawning up there and it's uh it's a bit frustrating cuz i've i've lit up so many caves around here and it's still slow um some of it might be because i have slime spawning in this area but even still it shouldn't make that big of a difference um yeah, I got a lot of stuff around here. Lots of stuff. Hmm. Actually, I'm just, I'm just going to unload real quick. Uh, let's go. Let's go check. Actually, I might need that. Where'd it go? Over there. Let's go check things out here. Okay. Um haven't really worked in this area much. I am doing something with the silverfish right now, uh, which we might get to today, but that's its work in progress. Oh, this is how I get out of here right now. <laughs> it's not it's not ideal. It's the only way out. I need to move this ladder or something. Or I could go through the nether. But yeah, let's go to an X-ray machine and just mm -hmm. have a look around. I'm still getting used to that. It's very strange to see the sideways logs. Uh, but yeah, like I got a lot of caves lit up. A lot of caves. There we go. And yes, I know you can use glowstone. I like using TNT. It's cooler. Um... There's one dark spot there. Um, there's a a pool of water there that needs to be lit up. But for the most part, it like, oh, I guess that too. It's kind of dark that ravine. And there looks like a cave over there. So, oh, and that there is kind of dark some stuff there but I think that's out of range already but yeah I got a lot lit up um maybe let's check the other one I'll stop recording for a sec while I walk there okay here's the other one so these are 100 blocks away from that thing uh, like 100 blocks on the X coordinate and 100 on the Z so it's actually further than 100 it's uh what do you times it by 1.4 or something? I can't remember. Oh, now I gotta figure it out. Square root of 2 is. Got my calculator. 1.41.4 so times 100. About 141 blocks away from the mob system. So it's. This is like the border of where mobs will spawn if I'm at the mob system. Okay, this one, there's a lot more darkness. Look at all this. But pretty sure that's out of the range, most of it. But this this over here is within range. I'm guessing this big pocket thing here is blocking my view of a lot of it. Okay, I'm going to set up two more of these. One over that way and another one uh, opposite of here. And just take a look around, too. Okay, we're over here now. You can just see the top of the mob system right there. Uh, we are here. Again, 100 and 100 away. Um, I wasn't expecting there to be any caves in this quadrant, but look at this. Like, like unexplored caves, I mean. I never even thought about lighting up the mountains. There's caves in the mountains I have to go through, too. Um see, how did I do this before? We were there, look like that. The fun thing about TNT is there's always a risk of blowing yourself up. <laughs> That's exciting. 
excitement. Okay. So yeah, like I know I went through that. That thing is so extremely insane. Look at all all the places I've been in there. Uh, but yeah, I have missed some spots. There's a snake over there. A bit of stuff there. I think that's out of range. Uh, that down there, though, is definitely within range. I have to get to that. That's a big section right below us. There's something there. Oh, some surface stuff over there. And I'm sure in these mountains there's a lot of stuff, too. Uh-huh, so we're just trying to get a perspective of how many caves I have to light up yet. Something there too, it looks like. Oh, so yeah, there's more here than I thought there was going to be. Let's check out the last quadrant. Uh, 100, uh, 200 blocks this way. Okay, this is the last quadrant. I haven't checked it yet. I don't know what to expect, really. I'm, I'm guessing it might be pretty unlit underground. Uh, for a perspective of where we are, uh, the village where we got the villagers is over there and our base, the man cave is that way. The ice tray is over in there and the sand pit is that way. Just to help you guys get your bearings of my world. But let's check this out. What do we got? Oh yes. Oh. Hello can see oh cool <laughs> that looks neat that's my storage room um, yeah look at all this this is the main culprit right here slowing down my rates okay problem found huh well we know what we got to do so I'm gonna go do, do some caving um, but we'll try build something today so I'll skip the caving for you guys I'll see you in a few hours from now, probably. Oh, man. I found a pretty crazy ravine here. It goes way down. I can see redstone right there. We are at 51. It goes all the way down to redstone level. Um, got mine shaft, lava, mushrooms. If we go across, I took a peek already. Got this nice open area. It's pretty cool. Um, pretty cool, pretty wild stuff. And lots of mobs, mobs everywhere, which is a good sign. That means there's only a little bit of cave that's unlit around here. Like, look at them all. They're just, they're just everywhere. <laughs> oh, man. And I already got ambushed once while I was here. Just about died. I was down to one heart. Whew. I'm glad I armed up this time. Oh yeah, this is I think this is where they blew up before. Cool stuff. Mm, yeah, it like wraps around to the left. I wanna check that out. I'm gonna ender pearl over there. Maybe. <laughs> Just to see how big the ravine is. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at all the mobs. They're everywhere, man. It's just swarming with mobs. That's cool. And I have made it back with a lot of stuff again. Oh, boy. That's the main thing I was looking for, though. <laughs> I'm almost out of redstone. So it's always nice to get a big batch like that. Uh, this thing does not seem to be working much quicker, even after I did a whole ton of caving. Uh, maybe a little bit better, but not really noticeable. And I died once. Yeah, I'm back up to 17. As I was going through there, I, caving, I, I kind of wished I would have made a montage of it, like a five minute montage or something, because I saw a lot of cool stuff. Um, but maybe... I didn't, like I got a lot left to go, so maybe next time I go down there, I'll record a, a little bit of it. But yeah, we're going to head on over to, I think the village is what we'll spend some time on today. So I'll see you guys there.
And welcome to Emerald City. We still only have two villagers, but they're still alive. As long as they don't die, I'm happy. Uh, but we want to get some more villagers around here. And uh, I think the general consens consensus or agreement or whatever the word is, uh, is that the houses are better now that I got rid of the sandstone, which I'm glad people like that. Uh, a lot of people want me to make the lava flow down so you don't see that little like ninth of a block or whatever it is, or one pixel at the top there missing. But I actually like it more like this, so I'm going to keep it like that. Um, and uh, people seem to be pretty okay with this mossy stuff, so I think that's what we'll keep. Uh, the thing I want to try now is the fountain idea. It's a small little fountain in the center here. Let's see how it looks. I'm going to play with the height. So let's try it like this first of all. Oh, <laughs> that looks that looks really weird. Hmm. You know, I don't know how to make a fountain. I've never made a fountain before. Oh boy. What? Right. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I thought that was gonna look better. It didn't, though. I uh, guess what I could try to do. Align it. Let's just see how it looks. If it's any better. Ooh. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's like. Mm, hmm. It's almost like it's too wide. Or oh, that's probably what I gotta do. I gotta maybe have to make it a block higher. Yeah, let's see how this looks. Yeah, and it's going to be swamp water color. Which doesn't look that bad. It's not as green as it used to be, I don't think. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll keep it at that for now. What do you guys think of that? What I'm going to do next is punch a skylight right above the center 2x2 uh, two two of this thing. And then we're going to try to put some doors underneath it. Um, people don't like the fountain. I think I'll just do a, f a pond, like just flat water. Actually, I just want to try it with cobble here. So we could do this, or we could also extend it. Like that. Mm-hmm. And there's one more thing I want to try too, just to see what it looks like. Uh, let's also try, just had this idea, let's try and put some emeralds here. I know a lot of people don't like emeralds. I love them though. I love them. My favorite block. Believe it or not. Hoo hoo. Okay, we'll think about that. It's uh, it's pretty intense. Uh, I also wanted to try do this. Just let water flow down here, Oop. and see how that looks. If it comes all the way down from the ceiling, uh, yeah, just having some fun, playing with ideas. Trying lots of different things. Let's see what this looks like. Doesn't necessarily have to be a fountain. It could just be some random thing like this too. Oh, it's too bad the water doesn't go all the way to the top. Hmm. That is weird. <laughs> I like weird. I don't know if I like this though. Could also do it like this and have like stairs here. I think I like 
I do kind of like this. Very strange. A lot of people thought I was basing this, or got the Emerald City idea off of Wizard of Oz. I've never actually seen Wizard of Oz. It's just... I just wanted to make a weird village. <laughs> um, the Emerald City was actually a Sonic reference. Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, in one of the GameCube versions of the game, there was a level called Emerald City. Which is where I got the name from. And because we're using emeralds as our main block type. But yeah, you know what I would really like to do is have lava coming down. And maybe some iron bars and... Hmm. But if we do that, the idea of them swimming up through here is totally out the window. Okay, so this is another idea of how we could do a water feature in the center. Uh, this is probably my favorite. If you guys have a favorite, let me know in the comments. Maybe include a timestamp of when you when you saw it in the video. Let's try this too. Uh, that way I know what you're talking about. If you didn't like any, maybe let me know too. But please be kind. <laughs> please be kind if you if you don't like something. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you won't like what I'm doing here. I am doing something very weird and strange. Uh, which is, it's it's how I have fun playing this game, doing, doing w unusual things in the game that I haven't seen before, uh, is how I have fun. Let's see. Uh, as far as the, the ones I've shown, this one would be the easiest to do something technical with, because the villagers... They aren't able to swim into these sides, if I have these stairs here. And it's just a 2x2 two two thing of water, even though it looks wider. And I could do solid water source blocks all the way up so they can swim up quicker, instead of getting sucked down. But yeah, uh, moving on. Alright, so this is the idea I had for the village. We're going to go build in this fountain now. I already put the signs here so we can work. Um, let's see. Let's go down. We gotta make like a mob evader to get these guys up. So maybe let's go here. Uh, I'm gonna connect each direction we did here. It's going to connect to one of the houses. All four ways. Um, it's going to be some redstone involved with this as well. But what I plan on doing is hiding eight doors down here. I got them ready. Um, as long as we... I think... <laughs> I'm rambling a bit. I think if... If the sunlight passes through the water, it still counts as a valid door. I think. I think transparent blocks still count. Uh, if they don't, this idea is not going to work at all. But I'm going to hide some doors down here, and they have to be within five blocks of the, the sunlight above us there. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, up to here with the doors, I think. Um... I'll just put these down for now to give you an idea of what, what we're going to do. So we'll have the doors pretty far back. There's going to be, I think, dispensers here, both sides with water in, and like some trip wire here that if they pass, it's going to turn the water on, push them to the middle to a mob evader, and they'll swim up. And that will tell the house go back up. Whoa, I really went up there. It'll tell the house that the villagers are out, so these lights will come off. Um, and also, we're going to have to dig like a hole down here with another set of trip wire. Uh, they should fall down a three block drop like that. And if we have trip wire at this level, um, 
it'll turn the lights on when they fall down there, but they won't be able to come out through these doors. They'll be underground. And uh, basically we're adding two doors to this house that are underground here. <laughs> Still following me? I hope you are. So when they go through here, it's like they're going outside because the sunlight's over here as well. And it's the only way out. So that's that's what I'm planning here. I'm gonna work at cleaning this up a bit, and we'll we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is what we got so far. Um, let's pretend we're a villager. It turns night. I'm scared. I'm scared. Run inside. Close the door. Whew. Safe. After a little while of derping around in here, they should fall down this hole. I might have to make ways of. Uh, making that happen sooner, but they'll land on these pressure plates which will trigger an RS Norlatch and when that triggers uh, the lights turn on over there and also it will retract the water that's out here okay but yeah they're derping around in here during the night they're safe from zombies uh, even if there's a zombie siege they'll all be isolated in their own chambers so they should be okay I would think all right and then it turns day oh and they can see it's day from here because it's within five blocks and they decide to go outside and got dispensers with water and these um, trip wires trip wires they'll go wander across there and since these are ahead of the the water they won't be able to go back but yeah it'll push them to the center then at the center we're gonna have water sources there and there and there so when they hit those they will start swimming upward up through here and then out and the cycle will reset also when they go through this trip wire it'll turn the lights off All right. Uh, I found out something new I didn't know about tripwire as well. You can't um, you can't have a block underneath the the hooks. Like if that's a solid block, it doesn't work. It has to be empty underneath apparently. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. I'm just doing a solid stone brick while I put this together, and later we will try make it cooler. Um, so yeah, I'll do that for all four houses, and I hope it works. <laughs> I s these guys still haven't bred yet, which makes me worried that the this doesn't count as valid doors. Whoa, glitches! Getting some glitches. Oh, cool! He went down here. Oh, dang! He went down here. Now I can't get him out because this isn't set up. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, we got a problem, guys. It doesn't seem like uh, if the sunlight passes through the water, it counts, which is really too bad. Um, this worked, though. Like, he went through the doors, and now he's stuck there. So we can control him with the water. Um, but yeah, it doesn't work through water. Uh, we could get it to work like if we put a transparent block here like a piston or something um, like if we did this oop, not that if we did this and had sunlight pass through here it would still register properly oh <laughs> the guy doesn't know what's going on but yeah, he came here during the night. He went through those doors at night, so he, he just sees them as any other door. They're not outside doors to him with the way this water is. Uh, but if we did this and had sunlight above this, then it would work. But then it looks like that, and we'd have to punch more holes into the ceiling. So I don't know. What do you guys think of everything we've done here? Uh, let me know your ideas. I think I'm going to 
put this at rest and think about it for a bit more. Um, have to get him out of here. Arr. Uh, let's go, let's go read the comments. There's one thing I want to do yet. We should try to do an enchantment. And I cooked up a lot of that stuff I got caving today. So let's see if we can get to 30. Gold gives a lot. Uh, I think more than iron. 27. 28. Ooh, I think we might make it. Awesome, we did it. <laughs> um, what should we do? What should we do? I'll just unload that there. Do we have any blank tools? Sharpness. Hmm, kind of wanted to do a sword. I will just do a pick. We got one ready. Oh, yeah, and uh, I did mess around up here a little bit. Not much. I was doing some more arches. Uh, just tried this out and did like a half arch to this door and then I'm going to do another half arch on this side. That'll go down. Which I think will we'll complete it pretty good. But still messing with that. Sweet. But yep, yeah, things are coming together little by little. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Here we go. Etho, what do you think of the new updates? 1.3 and 1.4 snapshots. Do you think it is too much? I would love to hear your opinion. Thanks for the videos. You're welcome. Um, for the most part, I really like the snapshots and the 1.3 update. I love the new features. Uh, what I would like them to focus on though now is to work at fixing the bugs that were introduced and also at optimizing the game. Um, although I am really excited about the 1.4 features too, especially the, the item frames. I'm going to use that in the storage room um, so that you can see what's in the chests from a distance. I think that's pretty cool. As, and there's a lot of other cool stuff, but all in all I'm pretty happy with it. I just want them to focus on fixing bugs and stuff now and uh, yeah we're just going to do one comment today uh, I will talk about one other thing real quick uh, about comment edit etiquette uh, if you guys see something in the comments that is extremely rude or negative or you know someone just being a jerk instead of replying to them just downvote their comment because if you reply to them it can it can cause these long comment chains to occur and it brings attention to it and it's best just to hide it if it's a really stupid comment so just a reminder um, but yeah I'm gonna get going here guys thank you for watching and I will see you again next time haha <laughs>